Welcome everybody to Mo Rat Nation. I'm Bob Carmichael and let's get started. Did benfosamine reduce my essential tremor? Sad to say, no. It didn't help it at all. So did benfosamine have any effect at all? Yes, it had several effects. One of them was good. I had some neuropathy in my right foot that was swollen from a bad knee injury. The neuropathy is not gone, but it is much better. I endured three long weeks of nausea from the high doses of benfosamine. In addition, my hair noticeably thinned during this trial. I had several moments during this trial that I thought benfosamine was starting to work. But the next time I became a little hypoglycemic, my tremor was just as bad as always. After three months, I decided to try something else. But before I leave this product, I should mention some of the things I did wrong during this trial. I would take my morning dose of benfosamine right after I had had a cup of coffee. Elliot Overton says in his download about how to do this type of protocol, he mentions that coffee and tea have tannins that tend to block the absorption of vitamin B1. I would also like to mention that six days out of the three months, I forgot to take the afternoon dose. I would have preferred to go with Thiamax, the Elliott Overton product, but the number of pills required to do two and a half grams would have required a bottle every two days. After careful consideration, I decided to go with Selbutamine, the only one of the thiamine versions that used the methylation pathway and that came in a powder form was selbutamine, 50 grams per jar. I also decided to change the way I take selbutamine. Selbutamine has a terrible taste that I didn't notice when I was taking the capsules. To get around this problem, I began to take selbutamine before my meals and mixed with my fiber and collagen peptide supplements. I am presently using Citrocell for my fiber supplement and Sports Research's collagen peptide. At this point, I don't know if this will help or hurt the absorption of selbutamine. To avoid this problem, I have been mixing the selbutamine with extra virgin olive oil before I add it to the fiber and collagen. Selbutamine tastes terrible. When I mixed it with Citrocell, it tastes like orange juice that had been in the refrigerator too long. One happy surprise is that selbutamine does not bother my stomach. About one out of 10 of my experiments turn out to work. So all I can do is keep trying and hope for the best. I will find out if this version of vitamin B1 has any effect on my tremor and make another video and add it to the playlist at the end of this video. It is hard sometimes to find playlists on YouTube. So be sure to click on them so that you can find them in your history file. And join the nation. Click on the mole rat on the right to subscribe to this channel. I have no financial ties with any of the products mentioned in this video. And thanks for watching.